All right, last section is using the midpoint formula to calculate the midpoint between each pair of points. Round the answer to the nearest tenth, if necessary, and show all work. So just to remind you guys, when you are calculating a midpoint, it is going to literally have a point. So you should have parentheses, comma, parentheses, and there will be two numbers in this formula. The first number will be your x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And then your second number will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So this is the midpoint formula. And we shall use the midpoint formula to calculate our midpoints, the point that is exactly halfway between the two given ones. So in our first problem, we are given two points, 1, 2, and 3, 7. I shall now label them with x1, y1. So that's your x1 and y1 both part of your first point, which is why they both have a one next to it. And then for your second point, x2, y2, both part of your second point, which is why they have two next to it. So plugging it into our midpoint formula, you have x1 plus x2. So literally just adding the x values together and divide it by two. For the y's, y1, y2 divided by 2. So then we just have to simplify this. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 7 is 9. And then they want us to round it to the nearest tenth if necessary. So we will use a decimal. Okay. So 4 divided by 2, that's just 2. 9 divided by 2, that is 4.5. So that's my decimal, the 4.5. We're going to use decimals and not fractions for this one. So this is your final answer for number seven. I want you to try the same thing for number eight. And then when we come back, we'll see if you got it right or wrong. It's okay if you got it wrong because literally this is your first time doing it. So I expect about half of you to get it wrong anyways. So don't worry if you got it wrong. Pause the video and try now. All right, so unpausing it, we are going to see how you did. You got your x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2. This is your formula. Plugging it in. Oh wait, let's label it. x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so your x1 is negative 6. Your x2 is 2. y1 is 4. y2 is negative 8. Okay, simplify. So negative six plus two, that's negative four. Uh, four plus negative eight, that's also negative four. And then negative four divided by two is negative two. And once again, negative four divided by two is negative two. So this is your final answer. This is the point that is exactly halfway between these two points. So the answer of the midpoint, if you were to graph it out, you will see that it is exactly halfway between the two points that we were originally given. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And if not, keep working on the skills practice. So scroll down and work on the skills practice. You guys got this.